Okay, so I've already gone ahead and attached my lining main panels to my foam and my trim and zipper panels to my foam. Kristen gives instructions at specific spots in the pattern in the next few steps where to attach the foam. I've gone ahead and did them already just to save some time during the construction of the bag for the video. You can base them now or you can do it when she asks you to do it in the pattern. You can use a basting spray or you can baste stitch all around the four edges. Either option works great. Whatever you're most comfortable with doing, go ahead and proceed to do that. If you wanna wait till when she asks you to do it in the pattern, that's totally fine as well. But I just wanted to make a note of that, that my foam is already attached to these pieces just to save time for the video. Okay, so now we're gonna start our lining assembly. First is our laptop sleeve panel. We need our two laptop sleeves, the laptop sleeve foam, and one of our main lining panels. We'll put the laptops, the main lining panel and the laptop sleeve foam to the side. You're going to take your two laptop sleeve panels and you're going to place them right sides together. Pin them. And then we will sew these with 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, except you will leave a six inch opening along the bottom. If it's better to remind you, you can go ahead and draw some lines here to remember where to start and stop. You want to leave the opening on the edge that is the longest. The longest edge will be the bottom edge. So again, we're sewing this all the way around with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, leaving a hole six inches long for turning the laptop sleeve right side out. There we go, it is stitched with the opening. If you are using a magnetic snap, you'll wanna go ahead and install that as Kristen instructs in the pattern. I'm going to be using some cam snaps so I can continue on with the instructions. So next I'm going to trim my corners on an angle, carefully being careful not to cut the stitches I made. Another thing I wanted to note, when I sew around, I like to backstitch at my corners. This just adds a bit of extra strength and security when I'm pushing up my corners. It just gives a little bit more to grab at. Now I'm going to turn my fabric right side out. I'm going to use a poking tool to poke out my corners. Be careful when you're poking them out not to push too hard. You don't want to push out your corner completely and cause a hole. There it is, all turned. Now what she has you do is install your cam snap here if you prefer. So you would only install it going through one layer of the fabric. You could use a piece of Peltex or Deco Veil Heavy or some foam behind just to give it some extra material to grab onto. I'm going to hold off until after I, ins I insert my foam because I'm going through both layers. You can see the front and the back of a cam snap. I'm going to use it with the foam, sorry. I'm going to put the foam in and then use the foam as that extra bit of thickness for grab. So now I'm going to insert my foam. Oh, sorry, first I'm going to press this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press all the sides all the way around and then I'll come back and that's when I'll insert my foam. Okay, so now I've pressed my laptop sleeve. I have the opening here. Again, if you're using a cam snap, you can go ahead and install it. You'll reach your hand up in through the opening and install it here centered and where she gives for the measurements. If you've installed a magnetic snap, you will already have it installed. I'm going to hold off and install my cam snap after I insert my foam, as I mentioned before. So I'm going to put my foam into my laptop sleeve. You want to make sure you get the, the corners right into the corner of the laptop sleeve. You can even place a clip to help hold it in the corners. What I like to do once I have it in the sleeve, I like to go and give this another press just to really get it nice and flat. So I'm going to do that now. 
Okay, so I've given it a press. I'm going to press my opening with and use clips. It's already been pressed, but I, when I say press, put it together and hold it in place with some wonder clips. If you use traditional pins, you can go ahead and pin it. Just like that. Now what she has you do is sew the top and the sides. I'm leaving this where my opening is, is the bottom. That way there, if it looks a little bit messy, you don't see it at the top of the laptop sleeve. It's just a personal preference, but I'm gonna leave that at the bottom. That will be closed when we sew this to the lining of the bag. So I'm going to go in now and top stitch up the side, across the top, and back down the other side with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And there we have it, it's all top stitched. Now I'm going to install the cam snap where Kristen instructs in the pattern. First I'm going to find my center by folding this in half. I'm going to use my awl to punch the hole because a cam snap doesn't need a very big hole to go through. And there it is, cam snap all installed, the first half. Now we need to grab our main lining panel and we're going to make some marks for where we're going to place the laptop sleeve. You'll use the measurements Kristen gives in the pattern. Let's just see if I'm using the right one, yes. When you're putting this on your lining main panel, you're going to place it so that your lining main panel is like this on your table. I'm gonna try and do this so you can see. Like this on your table. And your laptop sleeve is going to be with the magnetic snap piece that snaps together facing the table. And you're going to center this and line it up with the line you made so it'll be centered and lined up with that line you made. Lining main panel is right side up and your laptop sleeve would be wrong side up. So if you're using a cam snap, you'll see the flat side of the cam snap. If you're using a magnetic snap, you won't see the magnetic snap at all. This would just be your fabric that you're looking at. The magnetic snap would be against the table. Place some clips, and then you can use some pins to help hold it in place. And as you're sewing, you're going to want to make sure, if you've done what I've done, that you make sure you catch both your opening seams so that it closes it. So we're going to stitch this using the measurements Kristen gives in the pattern. Make sure you backstitch at start and stop. So there's going to be three rows of stitches in total. And there it is, three rows of stitching. And when you flip this up, you will see the snap part of your magnetic or your cam snap. We're going to put this to the side for now. We are done with this. Oh, sorry, before we move on, if you want, you can stitch the sides of your laptop sleeve down. Check to make sure that the laptop you are making this for will fit. If you're not sure and you're making this safe for a gift or to sell at a craft fair, go ahead and leave this open. That way there, that gives you the extra space if somebody has a bigger laptop. My laptop is a bit bigger, so it does not fit inside just this stitch down but if you're doing it for a tablet or you just want to have this as a regular pocket you can go ahead and stitch that down we're going to put that off to the side now we need our two lls or lss pieces if you are using a magnetic snap you'll want to go ahead and install it the other half of it 
as Kristen instructs in the pattern. Again, I'm using a cam snap, so I don't need to install it yet. We're going to pin these right sides together. So after you get your cam snap or your magnetic snap installed, you can go ahead and do the same thing, pin it all together. So the right sides will be pinned together. Then we will sew this with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. If you're using materials such as cork, vinyl, or faux leather, you can go ahead and sew these wrong sides together if you're okay with raw edges, or if you have edge coat, you can go ahead and apply some edge coat to it. I'm going to sew mine wrong sides together and still turn it out because I'm okay with doing that. I've done it on another one and it was okay for me to turn right sides out. So we're sewing this with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to trim my seam allowance just to help reduce the bulk. And I'm going to trim the corners on an angle. Be very careful when you're doing this so you don't clip your stitches. And there you go. I'm going to turn this right sides out. It is a little bit tricky if you're using vinyl. This is a thin vinyl, that's why I know I'm able to do it because I've done it before with a thin. Okay, so I'm very sorry my camera stopped working and I had gone ahead and completed a few steps so I had to go back and take a few things out with my seam ripper. So I had already completed my laptop secure strap. I turned it right side out, top stitched around the three finished edges. So I went down one side, across the bottom and back up. And I also installed the other half of my cam snap as per the instructions that Kristen gives in the pattern. So now I'm going to install my secure strap to my main lining panel with the measurement that Kristen gives. You're going to center it just like that. You will have some overhang. And then I'm going to sew this in place. You want to make sure when you install your secure strap that the snap will snap together properly. You don't want to install this upside down where your snap can't snap together. So mine is installed properly. I'm going to go ahead and base this to my main lining panel. Just like that. And there we have it. Our secure strap is in place with our laptop sleeve. Just like that. Okay, so now that we have the secure strap for the laptop sleeve installed, I'm going to show you how to attach the zipper panel so that it is a recessed zipper. So what you're going to want now is this completed panel with your laptop sleeve, your zipper panel, and your trim and zipper panel. I know I keep calling that a zipper panel. We'll just call it a zipper going forward. So this zipper will be attached here and then we will be attaching our trim and zipper panel up here. This creates a recessed zipper. If you are worried about the size of the laptop not fitting because the recessed zipper panel will be here, you can attach it at the top as Kristen gives in the instructions. I will show you how to do that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and attach this here just to show you how to do it. So what you need to do is fold your zipper in half and find the half mark and then make a mark where it is folded in half just so that you can line up these marks with your main lining panel. So I'm doing that now, I'm making some marks where the center is. Now you will take your zipper panel, or your zipper, sorry, and you will line up the center mark you made on this zipper with the center mark on your main lining panel. Line that all up. You're going to notice that you'll have a space on either end and that is for your seam allowance. So that is okay. It won't go all the way to the end. And you're going to clip this in place. Once it's clipped in place, we're going to baste this to the main lining panel. When I baste, I like to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. This way here, it's not seen after because I'm going to go in and sew with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance when I attach my trim and zipper panel. So again, Base this in place with a quarter inch seam allowance. There it is. It's attached to my main lining panel. 
just like that. Now we need to take our trim and zipper panel and we need to attach this so it's at the top. If you're using a, pa a fabric here that is directional, you'll want to place it so that it is oriented in the correct direction so that it's not upside down. So check to make sure before and then you would just flip it. So if this was say a pattern here that was supposed to be face up, I do this and then I just flip it over. So what you want to do is line up the top long edges and pin it in place. Your center mark on your trim and zipper panel should line up with the center mark on your main lining panel. And then we're going to sew this with a full seam allowance, which is 3 eighths of an inch all the way across. Next, we're going to take this to our iron and we're going to press this up towards the trim and zipper panel. So you're pressing this so it is up. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so I have that all pressed. Now I'm going to top stitch this with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Again, this is all pressed up, so you're sewing through quite a few layers. If you need to, switch to a walking foot to help you get through the layers. Increase your stitch length, and you might need to adjust your tension as well. Sometimes also using a bigger needle size helps if you are getting skipped stitches. There we go. This zipper is now installed to our main lining panel with the laptop sleeve. We're going to put this to the side for now. We are done with this panel and we're going to move on to our slip pocket. 